Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne'sHappyStampers.co.uk and I'm back again with another tutorial. Now, today I've got this really cute, tiny little um, origami box and it measures two and a quarter by one and a half. So two and a quarter by one and a half and it is about <clears throat> three quarters of an inch in height so it's really tiny and I got this from a I believe she might be a German demonstrator but I forgot her name but I will put it in the description who the lady was um, <clears throat> and the ribbon just slides off like so and I've actually attached mine with a little magnet okay so it just snaps shut and then you open it and it's got one little tea light in which I think it's so cute um, <clears throat> it's just a normal tea light you could possibly even get a couple of little chocolates in um, whatever you want to put in there so that's what I'm going to show you how to make and I think it's gorgeous and I made that with the the 6x6 wood DSP um, alright so I'm going to make this one with the colour theory and you just need one piece of 6x6 so you don't have to cut it or you know anything like that just 6x6 six six as it is so take your scoreboard and on any side it doesn't matter which you are going to score it at three quarters of an inch one and a half inches and one and seven eighths okay then you're going to turn it round and do the same on the opposite side so three quarters one and a half and one and seven eighths okay now turn it to the other side and you're going to score it out one and a half and two and a quarter and you're going to repeat it on this side so we need to turn it so it's opposite so one and a half and two and a quarter and I don't there you can kind of see the score lines there okay that's it it's so easy so we will just quickly fold and burnish it now you might notice on one of the sides you've got like two skinny little score lines and one side you've got two bigger score lines so remember that the part where you've got the skinny score lines is going to be the bits that you're going to fold over to meet together so I'll show you that when we get there so you know what I mean Alright, so that's all the score lines burnished, okay? So you want to turn it where you've got the um, the two wider score lines which are facing you, okay? And then on the four corners you're going to turn this over so it matches with this score line here, okay? so you will end up with that okay do the same on this one match it up with this score line all right and then repeat the same on the other end like so okay <clears throat> So you will end up with that, all right? Now, let me get this right, yes. Yeah. So, 
what you want to do is where you've just folded it with your two wider score lines down here all right what you want to do is here you want to just lift these bottom pieces up like that okay and then just push them in and they will automatically just go like that okay and then fold the little corners just over this way just to burnish them and back okay now is that right yes that's right okay so and then you want to do the same on this piece so just lift them up like that all right and then just push them like that then fold them that way and back down on the self now you want to turn it this way so this time you've got those two skinny score lines running down okay and what you're going to do is you've got can you see like a kind of rectangle here and a rectangle in here we need to put tape in this rectangle just to the score lines together you could just put fuse which I think I will for quickness so I'm just going to open it up a little bit you've got a rectangle there then you've got two tiny ones don't touch the tiny ones it's just in this one so I'm going to put a couple of bits of fuse oh, not on that bit mind on there okay and then I'm going to put a couple of bits on here as well okay just like that <clears throat> and then we're just going to stick them down okay just like that so that's what you will end up with now now what you want to do okay is this bit here you were going to fold it so just have those flat like I said like that and then you've got your score line here and then you're just going to fold it like that and then fold it so it will actually stick to the tape that you have there so you've got a little score line there just fold that and then fold it and it should kind of meet in the middle so that's what you'll end up with okay so we'll just burnish them down okay and then we're just going to start and fold it on these score lines here okay and, there. and then what's going to happen is if you just pull on this bit here you will see that it will just lift up like that okay so just pull that back and it will lift up okay and do the same here just lift up and then you will find that you just have to push these little side pieces in because they need to be flat push it back like that and then it will form like a little kind of square in the middle just make sure them bits are flat and there you go there's your little box and then now it will fold over fold over like that how sweet is that so I've got a little tea light I'm just going to pop it in and this time I think I'm just going to use a velcro dot you can use whatever you like I'm just going to cut little velcro dots off <clears throat> so I'm going to have the fluffy piece just there okay and then I'm going to stick this other piece onto there so I know press that closed peel off the back end so then I know it's going to be in the right place when I close the 
little box and then just close it over and just press that down like so and there we are we've got a sweet little box okay great you know great little gifts for anybody really just little thank you gifts so that is mine done <clears throat> and I'm just gonna get I've got some of this whisper white uh, sheer ribbon is it it's a lovely and I'm gonna cut some off because I'm gonna tie it in a bow and then I'm just gonna have this piece of ribbon at the side because I want a little sentiment on like I did on the other one so just tie it tight Tight, and then I'm just going to have it on the left here, and obviously it's far too big, so I'm going to adjust it. Trim the ends a little bit. Like that. And then I've got the stamp set which is Eastern Beauty and I'm going to use the little thank you there. And I'm just going to stamp it onto some Scrap Whisper White with some Berry Burst ink. Ink that up. Okay. And then I've got a one inch circle punch. And I'm just going to punch it out, put <coughs> a little dimensional on the back. one in the middle, get the little box and then I'm going to stick that just there and then I've got a few little rhinestones here and I'm just going to pop a few on the box where did that go? no idea so I'm just going to pop three in the left hand corner there we go I just think they're so sweet they really are great little gifts there's the other one I did before with the ribbon so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it all the info will be on my blog and I will be back again on Friday with another tutorial. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.